Honey, I'm home. I'm back. Hey, I forgot to say hey in the video, so this is me doing that. Hello. For today's video, we're doing something interesting. Something that I've never tried before. Spray on tie-dye. Tie-dye that can be sprayed on through a bottle. I don't know if this is going to be as good as regular tie-dye, but I have a feeling that it will be less messy than last time. Let's try it. Okay, here we have the neon fabric spray paints that I am testing for the first time here today. Let's open these up. Why do I struggle opening these things? Is anyone else having these problems? Just me? Okay. After struggling for longer than I would like to admit, I finally got them out of the box. I will admit, on a first glance, looking at these bottles, the colors look really nice. But the question is, how will they spray? Not well, it turns out. It takes a very long time to get these pumps going. The pink one was very good to me. The green one is like your friend that wants to hang out with you, but is always like four hours too late. Red. Red's my best friend. Red came out to support me right away. Turquoise is my loud sister. Get away from me. I'm so scared. Purple, an overachiever, but orange. Orange is like the stale cheese that you have in your fridge that you think is good and you eat it and it turns out it was rotten. Betrayal. That's the best way I can say it. The spray top didn't work. I had to use the yellows and it gave me issues the whole time. It's time to test for shape. Let me explain. I soon discovered that each of these spray bottles sprayed a different shape on the clothing. It was very weird. Some would spray in circles, others would spray a nice even spray like you would expect, and then other ones would spray X's or pinwheels. Turquoise, bro, what's going on? What the heck is that? I couldn't get a consistent flow across all of these spray bottles and it slowly started to look like absolute garbage. I know that part of it is because this is a gray shorts, but also this just looks like you sat in something dirty. <laughs> not ideal. I don't know what this is, but that is certainly not tie dye. <laughs> looks like a sewer. Okay, well, this was a fail. Yes. Let's move on to a white t-shirt. Maybe if we try some kind of tie-dye pattern, this will turn out better. Let's just start off nice and easy. Let's do a classic circle swirl right in the center of the t-shirt. I did swirl this very tightly. Is tightly a word? I feel like it might not be. It is, never mind. Anyway, spinning it so tightly was a mistake and I'll explain why in a second. The pink paint came out great as expected. I was able to spray the whole area and it had a nice even spray. The orange top doesn't work at all, so I had to switch it with the yellow top and then I was finally able to spray with the orange. It really is unfortunate the orange is getting a bad name in this video because that color is probably the best one. Switching the top back to use the yellow. Orange you glad the orange top is defective? <laughs> I'll stop. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you probably know that I'm extremely uncoordinated and prone to mistakes. If there is a spray bottle involved, I will likely spray it into my eye. And today is no different. I don't know what to say, folks. Yes. Unfortunately, I did it again. What? The purple spray bottle was not working. I got mad and started spraying it aggressively and I started to look into the spray bottle to see if there's anything in there while I was pumping and got it in my eye. Ow! Anyone oh, shocked? I, my eye. I really need to wear goggles at all times. Luckily, Tulip fabric paint is non-toxic. It did not hurt nearly as bad as the acrylic spray I got in my eye and I did not have to go to the eye doctor. I'm fine, I just couldn't cry out of my eye for one day. I took a paper towel and wiped up the paint that was on the paper. Spinning the shirt so tightly was a mistake because you end up with a lot of white space. To fix this, I decided to spin it again, a little looser, and spray it again. This was also a mistake on my part 
Basically, by respinning it and repainting it, you're creating a new center for your t-shirt, and it will look so bad. I'm being slightly dramatic, but seriously, don't, don't respin it. Learn from me. Really, what I should have done is probably just loosened the original one and not opened it up. Now I know for next time. I did the same exact thing on the back, except made sure that the swirl was loosened enough. Even though some of these spray bottles work a little weirdly, Orange, I'm looking at you. Meep. I will say, this is a much cleaner method of doing tie-dye, and I'm not a mom, but this is certainly a tie-dye for the moms. No dye on my hands, nothing to really clean up. I'm a mess at all times, and if I say it's clean, it's really clean. Enough said. After I was done spraying my design, I left it out on my deck to dry overnight. In the morning, I threw it in the washer machine, and it was good to go. Overall, the colors are very bright. This does create a slightly different effect than traditional tie-dye, but I think I like it. Awkward modeling. Up next, we're trying a new method. This method is the scrunching tie-dye method. Even with regular tie-dye, I personally love the scrunching method. It basically just consists of you scrunching the shirt into, I don't even know, just do what I'm doing with my hands. This is a kitchen spray bottle meant for olive oil. We had an extra one, so I filled it with water and sprayed the whole shirt until it was damp. Yes, that is, that is wet, Marissa. I chose to dampen the shirt because I felt like it would make the paint spread a little bit more, and it really did. Orange, come on, work with me. And now the yellow and the orange spray bottle tops are both not working. Great. My approach to the scrunching method was to start with pink and blue. I cleaned up the mess around it and opened this shirt up. Honestly, looking pretty cool. Almost left this as is, it looks so cool, but I did want to add some more colors and fill in some of those white spots. I re-scrunched the shirt in a way that I could get the other white spots, and I sprayed green in the center, turquoise on the bottom, and then orange on the top. I think at this point I had resorted to using the red spray bottle top in the orange bottle, but whatever. I unscrunched this and I could not believe my eyes. I can't believe I accidentally made this. Yeah, I like that. It looks like the coolest marbled shirt. I have no idea how this happened and I just hope I can replicate it on the back. I won't bore you with the details, but I tried my absolute best to do the same thing on the back and I think I succeeded somewhat. I left it on my deck overnight to dry and washed it in the morning. I really like this one. I think it looks really cool. I do tend to like marbling, and I think it turns out best with the spray tie-dye. I think this is the best method. I wanted to show you what these two shirts looked like on my deck at night. They kind of glow in the dark, which I thought was really cool. I don't know if this stays like this, but at least while it's wet, it looks like it's glowing. Last but not least, we have another t-shirt. I decided to do something different to this one. Let's cut the sleeves off. I like this style of shirt, so I thought it would look good. I scrunched the shirt vertically like an accordion. My idea for this was to make horizontal lines that ended up looking like tiger stripes. I don't know, I thought that would be cool. I used red and man, Red was underrepresented and a little disrespected in this video. I didn't use red a whole ton, even though its spray bottle actually worked the best. It's called respect. After I was done spraying that, I cleaned it up and opened the shirt up and wow, this actually turned out pretty much exactly the way I was intending it to look. I really like this one. I feel like it does look a little bit like some kind of tiger stripe type of deal. Here's what the final shirt looks like on my deck. And here is an awkward video of me with the shirt on. I don't know why I keep lifting the camera up and down like that. I did want to show you the shirts one more time at night, a day after they had dried. They still have this weird glow to them. They don't glow in the dark, but the color is just not normal. Oh, maybe it's because it's neon. Okay, well, here are all three of the shirts that I did this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to check out my other videos, click one of the two boxes shown here. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.